Boulder Dash here, and this is Up on Up. here and I'm here to tell you we're in a civil war civil war number three so to speak the first civil war was fought during the revolution we all know it as the revolution but it was actually a civil war versus the Whigs versus the Tories and as we know the English didn't have a lot of troops here in the colonies. They were fighting some five or six other wars around the globe at the time. So they left it up to the Tories to fight it. And so here we have the revolution fought a brother against brother. American versus American. Then came the second civil war, 1865, North versus South. A bloody war, the most bloodiest in our nation's history. Mm -hmm. But this civil war we're fighting right now, why it's not north versus south, east versus west. Nor is it red state versus blue state. Why it's not even black versus white or spy versus spy. No, it's a global civil war. It's the haves versus the have-nots. Mm -hmm. Now, I happen to be one of the have-nots. Just like many people in this world, my kitchen's so small you can't swing a dead cat in there without getting fur in your mouth. Uh-huh. But I seek my pursuit of happiness in the company I keep. Uh-huh. Now, I don't begrudge anyone whose pursuit of happiness is money or land like in our founding fathers. That's right. The whole revolution was based on whether or not they can expand their land, expand past the Appalachians. But you see, there were treaties involved with the indigenous peoples at the time, and Britain didn't want to break those treaties. But we did. Uh huh. So here we go again. A third civil war. Brother against brother. Democrat versus Republican. Now, if you look at the YouTube like I do, there's an abundance amount of conspiracy theorists spouting all kinds of things. Why, from secret prisons in the U.S. to Blackwater to lies they told us about 9-11, how the government imploded the building itself just to bring about this global change why my head is spinning faster than a top uh -huh. as a matter of fact in the last eight years they got us all as busy as a one-legged man in a butt kicking contest uh -huh. and I for one am tired of it now you got Democrats who want change so badly that they've pinned all their hopes on Obama. But will Obama actually be able to do anything after the mess Bush has left? And then you have the Republicans putting all their hopes, what's left of them anyway, into the McCain-Palin ticket. 
Even the have-not Republicans have got their hopes in the Palin ticket. I guess they believe or they hope in the American dream that one day they'll make more than $250,000 a year. Keep dreaming. They're acting like they're saying, you're effing the chicken, I'm just holding the wings. <laughs> Funny as shit, tell me that, huh? Well, I tell you, this civil war we're fighting now between the haves and the have-nots, it's time to wake up, people. It's time to wake up on November 4th. And stop fighting each other, American versus American. We gotta quit running around like a fart in a bottle. It's time to piss on the fire and call the dogs. Uh-huh. But let me ask you something. Would you run through seven fields of broken glass just to slide in her shit? Huh? What's your opinion? I'd like to know. Uh-huh.